Make sure you guys go check out my new merchandise available in the link in the description below. What's going on, my Super Saiyan Paul here back at it again with another episode of the Jack 2 HCPS4 collection. Today, we are heading over to Crew and we got a plethora of missions. We got Kira, Torn. Everyone's hitting us up right now, so I think the first mission that I actually want to go to is Crew because he's the closest. And I, I don't know, there's just a special place in my heart for getting Crew missions. Something that I always wanted to see was them actually revamping the place and actually having customers in there because it always seemed dead. But other than that. We're here in the beautiful, beautiful water-filled area, and uh, there's just something about this area at nighttime. It's just so magical. This game, every, every I think every Jack game at nighttime, they really sold something here that was just worth it, and I think I really gotta admire that. The Hip Hog Havens lure. Hey, there's my moose. Yes, Billy Bob, Billy, and his pet. All right, we're gonna walk inside, and. You boys are all right, and since the boss is out of it right now, I'm going to give it to you straight. I've been cruise heavy for years, and I've done some things I'm not proud of. But this time, I think Cruz gotten himself and us into something really nasty. I'm thinking of getting out. Oh, Sig's beginning to like us, Jack. Come here, you big lug. Hugs for everyone. Knock it off. I think Crew's trying to. <laughs> Relax. Watch me butter up Bun Boy. Hey there, stuffed crust! How's it feel floating on top of the food chain? Ooh! Crew Meister! Have you been exercising? You're looking good. You are definitely mm, living large. Mm hmm. And those legs! They're so, uh, chiseled. I need you to score three of my boys down into the sewers and visit that statue again. I've heard that Mars' cheeky face might contain another secret, and I want you to see if the stories are true, eh? Make sure all three of my boys get to that statue, and they'll do all the rest, hmm? Alright, so now we're gonna be heading to the sewers. This is like one of my most... I actually liked it, and there were sometimes I hated this particular mission because there was some difficulty spikes, and I'm gonna... This is a faster way? I don't think so. Or right, we're gonna take it. Usually I go all the way around. Why is it telling me to go in this direction? But, yeah, this particular mission that I'm about to do here, it was just... It left so many open concepts for what they could have possibly done in future games, and I think that's why I kind of like the game like Ratchet and, Cl Ratchet and Clank Deadlocked, because... It kind of fulfilled that void in my heart that, like, yearned for it. But at the same time, I don't think anything really matched it. And I feel like that's something that I always wanted. I had some weird obsession with wanting to play co-op with other games. And I think the PlayStation 2 era, they didn't necessarily have the things down for it. Like, having online multiplayer and online co-ops. But in, like, other games, like, one of the games that actually come to mind, like, right away, would be, like, Borderlands and, like, Modern Warfare 2 Spec Ops types types of things like that where you could play kind of like the story with friends and stuff like that that's honestly what I, what I wanted and having a bit of a challenge on the way I really like that and I think that's why I still like those type of games to this day like monsters and all those things but I don't know I wish there was some form of multiplayer that we could bring into Jack and Daxter and Jack X which I will be playing it's it's there and I think that's why I was obsessed with it because you could play with like it was almost like multiplayer missions to get the orbs for us like when we were kids so if you guys know what I'm talking about, like you have to collect precursor orbs to buy stuff by playing multiplayer. Quiet. Anyway. Comes pretty boy. About time you showed up. Okay, let's do this. Here's the squad. Who said you'll protect us all the way to the statue? I got 30 keys of high explosive strapped to my back. These are some of the most memorable characters ever. It's like basically Ed and Eddie in a weird way. Jinx. We go down. This guy is probably one of the most memorable characters for me as well. Jinx, especially. Like everything from his name and everything. And just his attitude. I'm not gonna try to use this, the reflex beam because it's so overpowered, but you get the biggest dark bomb ever. Alright, we're gonna try to stick to the Vulcan. If I die, then I'll switch over to the blaster. But for now, I want to keep it a little bit of a challenge. Oh my god, Abe. Can't kill my squad. Move! 
clear this guy though. Anybody get hit? Here's something moving. Hey! Okay, I'm out of ammo. Screw it. Alright, I need HP. I am down on HP. It's not good. I always used to hide behind them. Just to see like where the blast radius was. This was always so cool. Breach it clear! Yo, that is such a violent ass explosion. Okay, I think there's supposed to be one that follows us and then there's gonna be a bunch squatted up over there. I have... I almost shot my boy. At least they're not hurt. That would've sucked. Oh, come on, get out the way! I'm taking so many hits! These guys, I don't know who hired... I mean, why would you hire these guys? They don't even know how to use a gun. Boo. At least they didn't take any real damage. And one of my metalhead gems just disappeared. Thanks, guys. Thanks so much. I barely have any ammo. Should have gone the way I expected and went to the port. Gun course and restocked. I have one shot to take left of HP. And I have barely any bullets. This is great. I have Dark Jack as well, so that could save me a bit. But other than that... I just gotta play this as one hit, I die. So laser focus, laser focus, laser focus. Out of the way! Oh my god, why am I shooting my teammates? Why is it locking onto them? Out of the way. I think this is where it was like frustrating at the same time, wasn't it? Like, look at this! It's locking onto them! If they shoot me, I'm dead. I think I slapped them up more than anything, but at least they're not losing HP for that. Damn. You guys are just a bunch of oafs. Okay, where's the beams of death? Yes, there they are. There they are. He slashed my nuts! And here we go. The checkpoints in this particular mission, that's what I disliked. I like the concept of co-op, dislike the checkpoints and the difficulty of this form because you can only take four hits with how much damage these guys do. You have a limited amount of ammo, depending on what you restock to get in here and dark jack has to be your savior in a certain spot so other than that can we go jeez and it's like slow pace so there's some complaints about this mission and there's some good ones yo i almost took a free hit oh my god melt him up One, two, three. Three. We're going into try hard mode. Saw you back here. Where are you? What the? This is weird. They're spawned. They have these tiny little pistols. We get this giant ass gun and they get tiny little pistols. That's cool. The scat gun is the last thing I want to be using against these guys. They're so long distance in terms of like powers and stuff so i don't really want to mess with that hey my is there any ammo around here nope Let's move. Yeah, we have explosives that's all they were armed with just giant kegs of explosives and nothing else let them come up behind us for a second why would you guys just run towards them yes run towards the things you guys can't fight god these guys are jack ripped. I, like, look at the size of that one. Like, you, you would expect them to wrestle it to the ground and then rip off its horns in some badass way. How did you get so jacked? <laughs> See what I did there. Doi. The voices change up their whole look, like, drastically. It's crazy. Okay, one's following us. They're following us for sure? Yes. Whoops. Don't shoot me. Don't shoot me.
already. We made it pretty far here. Okay, boys. This part right here. Very iconic. Get back. I'm gonna detonate this oh, one. Oh, yeah. Woo -woo -woo. Coming up. You hear that? Sounds like I got scared. Ah! The ceiling's crawling! Dead! Metal heads everywhere! It's a trap! This was probably one of the creepiest moments of my life because of how many metal heads I just witnessed in this area. It was so badass because on the PlayStation 2, you're like, we never expected to see this many enemies in one spot. And I loved it. Absolutely loved every second of this one. Look at this. I just get to let load everything I got and then... I'm gonna hit him with the dark blast, not the dark bomb. This should clear out a majority of the place. Oh man. Oh no! They're gonna die! They're gonna die! He's gonna die! He's gonna die! He's gonna die! Get off him! Get off him! Get off him! Get off him! Jeez! These guys are so helpless. Oh man, that had me shaking right there. Just gotta make sure nobody's on them. Don't laser beam him because they will get melted. Okay, let's get out of here before more. We actually did it. I always wonder why this guy looks like a Crimson Guard. Is he ex-Crimson Guard or something, or did he rob that armor? Oh, there goes one of the toughest missions in the game, next to the drill platform. Mainly because these guys die so easy, especially on hero mode. Pretty statue. Stand back, we're professionals. Alright boys, let's blow this sucker sky high. Wait, who told you to- No! Is what we're looking for, the Hadama Gym. Thanks for the escort, buddy. We'll take it back to crew. Ma's head is here. Ooh, the bedtime stories were true. The fabled Hadama was hidden inside that ugly statue of the old boy. Nothing fractured, nothing gained. That's my motto. <laughs> All right, so he's left something for us at the port. So let's head out there and see what he has to get for us. I mean, now would have been a good time to go to the port, if any, because I'm drained on ammo. Should have done it before the mission. I, my gut feeling was telling me to go in that direction. I don't know why this GPS led me, though. I felt like it was the long way around compared to the normal way, and I missed all the ammo and stuff. But we still got the job done. Still got it done. Yeah, they should have just had more of these things made. These guns, why don't they have more of these guns? Who actually gave us a very, very decent piece of equipment. Well, actually, it was sick, but I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, go around and around and around. There we go. To the gun range. Like, that was one thing I didn't, like, I think they should have had, like, some type of radio to fill these drives. I mean, the, the Crimson Guard filled up a lot of this, and I like this time of day. Look at that. Oh, surreal. Um, but, yeah, what was that? Is that crew in, like, a mast? That never made sense to me up there. Yeah, I felt like they should have had some type of radio service or something in the background. And now we reach the port. And here's a giant golden yellow crate. I wonder what it could be. Our own peacemaker! Now we're rocking! Now it's time to waste my first shot of ammo at the closest thing next to me. Oh, the peacemaker. Absolutely love this gun. One of the best guns ever. And I loved having it unlimited ammo because, like, you could just wreck everything with it. But. I think we're going to end it off here today, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Smash that like button for more. I'll be seeing you guys next time. Take care. Peace.